The procession has been woven together with local artists, community groups and professional acts and it's that interface where people get to see something that they're creating and then it gets joined to something else somebody is creating and it gets that much bigger. The whole team works really hard for most of the year around to bring something beautiful to the city and at the end of September you see all the efforts culminating. I've just felt incredibly proud to see Derby packed full of people, seeing those things that you imagined suddenly come to life. It's a tremendously rewarding thing to do because people are often quite anxious at the beginning. For some of the participants, this was the first time they met the person next to them. Because of the spirit that is built, any ideas they have about dropping out just disappear and evaporate. They just want to be part of it. And the more they do together, the more empowered they become to do more of that sort of thing. We've done this for about two or three years now. And it's one of those events that just gets better and better. I can't recommend it highly enough. You get something for free. It was nice to actually do a workshop and give something back and be part of the parade. The River Life procession has been funded from two trusts and foundations, the Duke of Devonshire's Charitable Trust and the National Lottery Community Fund, as well as individuals who can donate to us. Without that support, projects like this just wouldn't be able to happen. We would never be able to achieve everything that we do without the investment from other cultural organisations. And it's then that we grow and we make things bigger. And without art and culture, I don't think we would have such rich lives. I don't think we would connect with people. I don't think we'd feel inspired to try different things. Arts events that are ground level involving real members of the community and real living communities are absolutely essential. They are the things that bring us together, they lift us up, they help us to express ourselves. It's just joy, I guess, and it's with everyone and for everyone. Making, creating, being together, it's what makes life worth living. We all have a creative side to our personality. We don't necessarily get the luxury of exploring what that creative side would be. If you've got young kids particularly, with all that, like the pressures during the week where you've got work, they've got school. Arts and crafts seems to be one of them things where you don't spend as much time doing it as you should. So it's good to have things like this where you and the kids get stuck in and join in together and it does bring you together as a covering. Which is why we need initiatives like this to give people a taste of something that could be a very life enhancing experience for them. To have this just reminds us about being human, connecting, creating memories. They're feeling like Best Day is theirs and Best Day belongs to them and that is so important.